Caught Games episode 2 and in this episode I'm going to show you all the games that I bought in this very month. I, uh, I bought a PS5 game, I bought some PS4 games, PS3 games and also some PS2 games. And uh, let's start with the PS5 game. And that is Elden Ring, I think everybody is aware of this game. I bought the launch edition from the UK, for whatever reason the price was there uh, the best, even with uh, shipping and taxes. Um, I bought it together with another game. Uh, I'm having like currently five hours just to try it out. And the uh, game of course is tough as hell. Um, but I do have a problem with this game and it's kind of like the animations of the main character. Um, because he feels very heavy and sluggish. Um, it's just probably me, but um, I don't know. I played Demon Souls, the remake, and also the PS3 game, and Sekiro, and um, I don't know. It feels this game especially feels kind of outdated for whatever reason. Uh, but nonetheless, the game is the game is very good. Uh, the next game is Atelier Sophie 2. If you watched any of my collection videos, you know that I have them all: PS2, PS3, PS4 games, and I also have the Riser game for the Switch. Um, so yeah, I bought it together with Elden Ring from Amazon UK and um, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna play this but I uh, bought it also on release because those games for whatever reason they are they rise pretty quickly in price and they are sold out very fast so I decided to pick that up. Um, I'm continuing with the PS4 game and that is Wolfenstein, the new order. Uh, the, I found this very cheap for five. Uh, and I decided to pick it up. I never played those Wolfenstein games, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to do that. Uh, the next game is my, oh, I forgot about that, is my very first physical PlayStation Vita game. Uh, I stumbled across an auction on eBay and nobody was bidding, so I decided to jump in. Uh, I was not aware that I would actually buy it, and so I got it for 20. Uh, and this is my very first physical game. I have like five games on my Vita Digital, like Metal Gear Solid, FIFA and so on. Uh, but yeah, now I have Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And uh, now for the PS3, uh, we're having uh, a Japanese game that I've been looking for quite a while now. It's called Sakigage Odoko. Uh, this is like a brawler game. Uh, if, if I have uh, some footage, I will show you right now. I saw someone streaming it and I just and I just I, I decided I need this <laughs> in my collection and I found this right now for 15 I decided to pick it up too so yeah Sagi so, okay and uh, now coming to Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions those PS3 Spider-Man games they are so overpriced um, and this one was also pricey I paid uh, 55-ish in total, I did not buy it from eBay. I bought it from my local marketplace. But um, if you if you find this game somewhere for fifty or so, don't even hesitate buy it if you're looking for this one because the eBay prices are ridiculous. It costs like 100, 100 to one hundred fifty. I don't know why. Is it because uh, I heard someone was saying that it got removed from the PlayStation to store? I, I'm not sure if this is true, but uh, yeah, I have it. Uh, of course, complete in box. Uh, with a disc and that has also a manual so yeah very pricey uh, but I've been looking for those and I'm also currently on an auction in eBay for another Spider-Man game and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that but if I do you're gonna see that in my next video uh, I found this also very cheap Tekken Tech Tournament 2 also complete uh, with a manual um, there's nothing much to say. Tekken Tech Tournament, I think everyone is aware what Tekken is. I only played that once at my friend's house and I found it also, I think for six or five, I can't remember, but I decided to pick it up, why not? So now we come into the PlayStation 2 games and the one game that I did not even know existed and I was shocked, this is Grandia 3. Um, Grandia 2 is one of my favorite RPG games, I have it on the Dreamcast. So when I found this, I was like, I had to look like Grandia 3? Are you kidding me? I did not know that. I don't know why. Uh, it comes completely in box with the manual. Condition is very good. So yeah, I bought it. 
And the last one I've been looking for uh, actually quite some time, actually since 2000, I don't know how many years, and I found it. And that is the first of the Nordstar game for the PlayStation 2. If you like Guilty Gear games, uh, this is basically a first of the Nordstar style. Guilty Gear graphics are awesome. Um, yeah, nothing much to say, man. If I can find some gameplay footage, I will show you right now. It comes with two discs. Uh, they have zero scratches. The manual is also in. The, comes with this register card, like in an in a stellar condition. That was also very pricey, um, so that's why I decided to not buy that many games because uh, I got some awesome games, but uh, yeah, they're one of the cheapest one this month. And that's it. So um, that is my collection update. Um, make sure to like and subscribe for more collection update videos. Thank you for watching and see you.